Let me show you how to quickly edit four short videos with animations using Canva templates. The templates that we are going to be using today are premium templates. That means that we need Canva Pro. And don't worry if you have a Canva free account because we have a free trial of Canva Pro in the description. Let's start with video number one. We'll be using the template that you see on the screen right now and the link to this template you can also find it in the description. Actually all of the templates that I'll be using today you can find them there. So you can go to the description of this video, find that link, click on it and you will land on this page. As you can see this template is a pro template and if you want to use it you will need a Canva Pro account. I already have a Canva Pro account so I'm going to click on customize and this template which is going to take me automatically to the editor and from here to edit this template is pretty pretty easy as you can see we have on the first screen this animation that is already made and you don't need to do anything so let me preview this first page if you want you could change the text on this text box as you can see you can access the text box and change the text if you want but I actually like this one as it is. I'm going to move to page number two. We see a video in this frame which I'm going to change for a video of our own. I already have that video uploaded in the uploads section and if you want to upload a new video to Canva simply go here and then click upload files. This is going to give you access to the files on your computer and like this you'll be able to upload your images, videos and audio to Canva. Let me go to videos by default I landed in images but let's go to videos and this is the video that I want to insert in this template so let's go to uploads and drag this video inside the frame now all I have to do is to adjust the size of this video as you can see the video that I inserted it has a different ratio as the frame that we see on the template so I simply need to double click on this frame and then adjust the size and the position of my video. Something like this, I'm gonna hit done and then I just simply need to crop the video that I inserted because I only want to see a little section of this video. So let me try to find the section where I want to stop. Episode 3. We are going to challenge Ronnie's animation skills. All right. Perfect. So I want to crop this video somewhere here and I just need to preview the video and see if everything looks fine. All right. So okay. Just a little bit more. Skills. All right. So. Uh, okay. This is perfect. Skills. All right. So. Uh, and then we have watch full video on my channel. I just need to change this handle to Team Rondi. And now let me show you a simple trick that you can use to further customize this template with a couple of clicks. You're going to select one of the colors on this template. In this case, I'm going to select the color in the background. And then I'm going to background color. I'm going to use one of our branded colors. And we actually have a different orange on our color palette so I'm going to use this one and then I'm simply going to click on change all so all of the oranges that we see on this template they are changed automatically. Last thing that you can also do is to select one of the text boxes and change the font if you want. We usually go for Montserrat so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select Montserrat and then you also have this button that says change all. You can see that in the other pages we also have now Montserrat and I think with these simple changes the template is already looking on brand. Of course you can continue customizing this template even further, you can continue changing the colors and the text inside these text boxes if you want. Now 
now let me show you how to edit video number two this is the template that we are going to use so let me click on customize this template let me just remind you that the links to all of the templates that we'll be using today are in the description on this template because we have music and sound effects we have to use a different technique different than the one i showed you on the first video so we are not simply going to drag and drop a video inside the frame but we need to adjust the length of the video using a tool that I haven't showed you so far. Let me go to uploads because I know that I have some videos that I can use on this template down below right here. So before we drag and drop the video inside a frame in this particular template we need to check the length of each page. So this one is 2.5 seconds and we need to have that one noted. We are going to drag the video inside the frame and then by selecting the video we're going to use this tool in here. Click on the button and then add the timing of the page in here. Remember that it was 2.5 seconds and then hit done. And now the video and the page has exactly the same length which is 2.5. Let me preview this first page. I think this one looks good, but if you need to adjust the little section of the video that you want to use, you simply need to click on the video, go back here to trim, and then play around with the selection of the video. Click done, and then you can preview the video one more time. We're going to do exactly the same thing on page 2 and page 3. So pay attention to the length. This page is 2.1 seconds. So let me insert a new video and let's do exactly the same process. 2.1 hit done and as you can see something happened here now we have 2.0 i'm just going to correct this one and hit done one more time now we finally need another video for the last page this one is 1.9 and i'm going to insert another video in here so 1.9 going to trim one 0.9 seconds and hit done. Remember that you can select the section of the video that you want. Final details to adjust would be to mute the video that you just inserted in case that it has sound. This one in particular it has sound so we need to go to audio by selecting the video and then you can click on this icon to mute that video. You can do the same on the other videos just to make sure this one actually doesn't have audio audio as I already said and this one doesn't have audio either but it's good that you go and check all of the videos in this design. Lastly remember that you can change the colors and the text in your video. The video editing number three is pretty cool because I'm going to show you basically how to create a video using only static images or photos. As you can see here we have static images, these are photos, but they come with a little animation. So like this we have a more animated video. We have also some little tags that are going to add more information and make the video more interesting. Let me click on custom in this template and before we start I do suggest that you count all of the frames that you have on the template so you can start gathering the images that you want to use in here. So on page number one we have three photos. Actually let me go to the grid view to count these images faster. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven images. I already went ahead and found this 11 images that I want to use on this video and I uploaded them to Canva. We actually attended to a Canva event in Madrid and I have a bunch of photos that I thought they were perfect for this project. I actually believe that I uploaded more than 11 photos because in here we have different frame ratios so I don't know if all of the photos are going to work for this design so I want to have a little bit 
bit more of extra images so I can play around with them and select the ones that look better on this template. So all we have to do is to drag and drop the images inside the frames. And then if you want to adjust one of these images, like for example, I want to bring this image a little bit downwards, I'm going to double click and then I can move the image down. I'm going to click done and continue adding the images in each page. Okay, I have inserted all of the photos in the design and all we have to do is to, again, change the colors, adjust the fonts and you will see that the timing in each page stayed exactly the same because we were inserting static images and like this we don't mess with the timing of each page and we don't have to change anything else. The only thing that you obviously need to change is the text inside these bubbles and maybe adjust the position because as you can see some of these bubbles are now on top of our faces so we just need to position them in a different place and change the text. I'm actually going to delete this text box right here because I want to use one of these bubbles on the first page. So I'm selecting this bubble with the text, Control c or Command c and then go to page 1, Control v I'm gonna quickly change the text on each of these bubbles Now let me show you something here. I was adding text to this text box and now the text box is bigger than this bubble. You can do two things here. You can adjust the size of the bubble or you can adjust the size of your text. Now let me quickly change the colors. I have adjusted the colors, the fonts, and I guess my video is ready. Now let me show you how to edit this pretty cool animation in Canva. Let's go to customize this template. And when you land here in Canva, you will see that there are a lot of things going on. But if you need to use this animation to promote a new video, you just simply need to change the handle. So I'm going to click here and change it to Team Rondi and watch full video on my channel. That's it. I'm just going to change the fonts as always ways so selecting Montserrat change all and then instead of this green color I'm going for a yellow one from our branded color palette and then I'm just going to adjust a couple of colors more and that's it let me preview this video animation this one I really really love because it's so easy to customize and the hard work is already done for you. Now let me show you how to download these videos because I realized that I didn't show you that before. Okay but before I just wanted to let you know that we just launched a new store in creative market so if you are looking for a job and you need a professional looking CV we got you covered you can use the URL that we are showing you on the screen right now or simply find the link in the description so you have your animation done you have preview it and everything looks fine you're gonna click on this button on top of the screen that says share and then hit download from here you are going to select mp4 video or if you want or if you need it you can also download it as gif but the suggested file type is mp4 if you are going to upload it let's say to instagram as a reel tiktok or even to youtube as a short video download it as mp4 if you have a canva pro account you can increase the quality to 4k and then i do suggest that you connect your social account by clicking on this link we already have our channel connected so we just need to click download and by the way all of the templates that I shared with you guys today you can find them on my Canva profile so if you want to have new Canva templates every week you can follow me over there if you enjoyed this video I think you are going to love this one and remember that we have a Canva Pro free trial in the description but I'm also going to leave you the link in here I think that's it 
it for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!